Hello, this is a different video, although this is a video, so don't judge me. You can see I was watching Halo The Fall of Reach with subtitles. Don't ask me, I like to see subtitles in Halo stuff. And you can see I have a scene of all of their armors in a row. Now, ignore the text, I accidentally took a picture of that, I didn't mean to. I literally just put my phone up and took a picture of the screen. Um, I'm gonna go over the most annoying thing I think of this move in this movie, other than the fact that this pelican is also wrong at the writing end, and later they grab a nuke from Halo 4 and the shotguns from the shotgun and battle rifle from Halo 4 and 5. Okay, I'm gonna start off with Linda 059. Linda here, as you can see. Now, I'm gonna say something real quick. I call the chin guard of a of a Spartan helmet the grill of a helmet. I don't know why, I just do ignore it. The grill of the helmet <coughs> is wrong on this helmet. You can see in Halo 5, oops, ignore that, her grill. In fact, I'm just gonna, there we go. Um, you can you see the her actual grill in Halo 5, what 343 did here is they went lazy and decided to <coughs> literally throw the grill of the um, Halo Wars Spartan F Mjolnir Mark IV helmet right on this helmet to make it look a young, like a different version of the helmet, which is also wrong because this helmet, I don't care what new lore they came up with, if it's not original lore that this book that this movie is based off of the book from this helmet this armor doesn't exist this existed this existed this didn't exist actually and this definitely did not exist not with something like that sticking out of the top of a helmet they when they made these helmets they look for armor or aerodynamacy. They didn't look for, let's put random shite on it to make it look bulky and intimidating, which it didn't work. And also the EVA armor didn't come out a good while after this. Um, but Linda, her helmet doesn't exist anywhere near this time. Not until, oh, I don't know, the in-betweens of Halo 3 to Halo 4. And also, look, you can see the Halo 4 armor. They just have it slapped on there. They just have it, the back pieces are just slap sticked right on there, copy pasted, with the Halo Wars chest armor. Well, actually, the whole suit is Halo Wars with the Halo 4 back pieces. Why do I say that? This chest piece was Halo Wars, this shoulder piece was Halo Wars. Oh, and Wars 2. This helmet doesn't exist. That this Mjolnir helmet is it has no incarnations. This is half of the top half of this helmet. That half is the Mark IV helmet. This half This is the Mark Seven helmet. I know it says Mark Six, but since it's a new version of the Mark IV Mark 6, I'm calling it the Mark 7 because it looks more bulky and Chief's the only one who wears wears the Mark 7. So I'm just saying this is the grill of the Mark 7 and this is the, the headpiece or the dome piece of the Mark 4. This is literally a Halo 3 CQB uh, helmet. Actually, no, it's a Halo Reach CQB helmet. My bad, no wonder it's so tightly fit on his head. It should be the Halo 3 one if you're going to copy paste shite. At least be accurate, Bun 343. I keep saying Bungie for some reason. I associate Halo with Bungie all the time. I mean, you can even see on the arm pieces, which are twisting with the models, don't ask me why, that it's Halo 4. Why? Why, 343, are you lazy so much that you're just going to slapstick and smack 
smacked and copy paste all the armor together from different games. Oh, you make me mad, game uh, company. You make me mad, company. <laughs> Okay, but uh, that's pretty much everything on Linda. Let's go to Sam, which I'm most happy for because this helmet is lore friendly. This helmet was always around that time. If it came, if it was in Halo Three, then it was back during the Spartan Two time. The visor's good. Nothing on this helmet is different and good, other than the Halo Wars and Halo Four mixed armor that he's wearing, which is inaccurate completely. And now, for 117 John C. Uh, Green McShoot Man here. I've already went over this helmet, and the armor is the same. Also, uh, the numbers on the digits on the piece is actually not in the book at all, except for their undersuits, but that's uh, removed. Or, actually, no, they're still wearing it under the armor, to be honest. Uh, under the gel. To, uh, no, they took it off. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm retarded. But yeah, the digits. The only the only reason they put this on here is a reference to Halo Legends, which is referenced a lot with three four three actually. Uh, the forward onto Dawn movie. That was the Halo Leg Halo uh, Legends armor that Chief wore. Now, Kelly, O eight seven. What is this? This literally looks like the Chinese stealth helmet. Just with a vent grill. Which the vent grill wasn't in, put into the EVA helmet until Halo the Halo 3 incar Halo Reach incarnation, which is also the Spartan 3 incarnation of the suit. And the EVA armor didn't come out until close to Actually, no, it came out in the 2530s. This takes place 2525, this movie. So this helmet doesn't exist. And the armor is the same. And I've already went over his helmet. This, it shouldn't exist at all. It literally looks like some kind of bomb that you plant in a built in one of those, like, COD games. And that's the detonating piece you take off and take with you. And his armor is the same. Literally, the, it's literally, the armor is literally, and this is a nice representation of the armor here. And here. These three here. Halo Wars chest piece and shoulder pads. But then Halo 4, um, gauntlets. With what looks to be some kind of, like, rip-off, like, discount Halo Wars, um, leggings. With their MIG shift and shite helmets. Except for you, Sam. The one who dies was the one who looked good. You make me mad, company. You make me very mad.